effective goal setting, goal setting, how to set goals effectively. That's what we're getting ready to talk about right now. What is up, Underdog Fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to level the playing field for underdog entrepreneurs so we can quickly ramp our business up to six and seven figures as underdog entrepreneurs. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything and we are getting started right now. My name is Zachary Bell. Literally in the middle of class, I, I get up, I pick up my gloves, and I walk out. I don't say anything to anyone, I just literally pick up my gloves and I walk out of the class. And it was such a beautiful moment for me, and I was so happy. People were like, dude, you, you quit, you gave up, what do you mean? Why are you so happy? Why are you so excited? It was weird, because I was telling everyone, I was telling my family, my friends, because it was such a beautiful moment for me. And what it is, what some people don't understand is that, for me, I understood I understand what the work involved, the work that's needed to get a six pack. I now know that I am not willing to do that work. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? And I love that because now my goal has changed. Now my goal is just to be healthy. And I know what it takes to do that. I eat well, these, what the hell's the celery and all this. And, and I do that daily and I haven't given up and I do that and I do a great job at it. And I walk every day for half an hour. That you could be healthy if you walk every day for half an hour. You eat, you eat well. You, you're, you're considered, you can be considered healthy. I, that is my goal. I know the work needed to do that, and I'm willing to do that. So it's about knowing. A, you, you got to play. You, if you're gonna play the game, you got to read the instructions. You got to know what does it take to become successful online or get a six pack or whatever. This is what it takes. Are you willing to do it? The problem is everybody wants a six pack. They're not willing to do the work. But then the problem is their mindset gets shot because they, they gave up. You see, I didn't give up. I, I didn't give up. I, I just I shifted my goals because I knew that that's not going to work. But just the weight loss industry, multi-billion dollar industry, people constantly giving up, giving up. And that screws up their psyche. And then, they, then they'll try something. Then they'll try a keto diet. Then they'll try like a personal trainer. Then they'll try like all these different things. But wait a minute. That's kind of insanity if you think about it. Because you weren't willing to do the work in the first place. Why are you just trying different methods to do the work? It's still the same work. Do you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it, that, that, that really helps me a lot is to really is to know the game before you get into it and know that, yes, I'm, I'm willing to do the work. I love what Akbar broke down right there, how he realized that um, he wasn't willing to put in the work to get the six pack. And so he changed his goals up. That is a nugget in itself because if you're not willing, if you, if you don't want to do what it takes and you're just miserable and it's like you don't want that type in your things in your lifestyle, right? Then change up the goal. Now I'm going to give you some practical um, three simple steps that I use. I dumbed it down to just three simple steps on how to set goals and how to, how to dominate them. So number one, man, you got to get crystal clear on exactly what it is you want in every aspect of your, of your life. What do you want as far as your relationship with your spouse? What are the things you want with your relationship with your kids, with your friends, with you know all your relationships? Like know exactly what it is that you want in every single area of your life. Then what kind of business, economical, career goals do you want to have? Like where do you want to be? What type of investments do you want to make? How much net worth do you want to be? How much do you want to make annually? Um, all these things, right? Have a crystal clear idea. Write these things down of exactly what it is you want. Then um, what kind of toys and adventure goals do you want? Like do you, what kind of uh, what kind of house do you want to have? What kind of car do you want to drive? Do you want to have a plane or a boat? Um, what where do you want to go visit? Um, what do you want to do when you visit these places? Do you want to go see a show on Broadway in New York, or do you want to go hit Venice Beach in California? or do you want to go to Greece and like you know get crystal clear in the adventures do you want to go skydiving and stuff map out all these things write them down and finally your contribution goals what kind of contributions this is my favorite do you want to give to the world like how do you want to improve the quality of life of other human beings like map all this stuff out write it down on a piece of paper then make a vision board like literally I got my com computer screen right here and on this back wall back here if I lift my eyes up just like that, I see my vision board of visual representations of all these different things that I've mapped out in my relationship, business, uh, toys and adventure, and uh, contribution goals. And so I'm constantly reminded of it 
every single day. I also have that same vision board on my phone. So I'm looking at my phone all, you know, all the time throughout the day over like thousands of times. I don't know the exact number and I see that. So it's constantly in my head and then I start mapping out what I need to do to get there. So that's step number one. Step number two, we're gonna map it out. What are all the resources that you'll need to reach these goals? What are all the milestones you'll need to hit along the way? But most importantly, because most people get stuck in this planning stage and never take action, break it down to the very next step that you could do right now, right now. Like what you, can you do right now that'll bring you at least one step closer to your goal? That's it, that's the most important part of that process. Then third and final final piece of this three step uh, process for setting goals effectively is to go out and do it. And guess what, if you fail, do it again. And if you fail, do it again. And if you fail, do it again. And if you keep on failing and doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result, that's called insanity. So in that case, change the plan, change the approach, but don't change the goal. Unless, unless it's like Akbar or something you just don't want to do, right? But if it's something that you can't live without, change the approach until you find success. Like Thomas Edison, the dude tried creating a light bulb thousands of different times, I don't know the exact number, um, over and over and over again. And he, he kept failing, right? But he didn't change his goal. He kept the goal, he just changed his approach on the formulas and how he went about making the light bulb. He tried, oh, let me try this way. Oh, that didn't work, let me try that. Until he finally created a light bulb. How many of us quit after one or two or three different times? Like, ah, oh, this, this doesn't work, I'm done. You know. So if you want it that bad, those three step process, get crystal clear on exactly what it is you want, make your dream boards. Number two, make out the plans, step by step of what you'll need to get there and break it down to the very next step that you could take right now and then number three, take action over and over and over. And if it still doesn't work, then change the plan, but don't change the goal. That's how you go out and dominate your goals as an underdog entrepreneur. And if you want a blueprint that's gonna help you dominate your business goals and quickly ramp up your business to six and seven figures, it's gonna show you how to attract your ideal audience, how to craft compelling offers that they want and actually are willing to pull out their credit cards and buy, how to publish engaging content to get them into your funnel, how to follow up with them, how to uh, send them through the relationship path, what I call it also known as a customer journey on how to structure your offers that's going Going to optimize your offers and your income then be sure to check it out in the description it's called the growth engine blueprint linked up I got full tutorial videos on that as well as worksheets that you could fill out your customer profiles all that stuff right you definitely want to check that out if you're working on getting the six and seven figures in your business and if you want to check out the full interview to uh, to uh, me and Akbar's interview on underdog empowerment podcast check it out uh, that's linked up in the description as well if you're an iPhone user you can uh, check it out on iTunes it's linked up in the description if you're an Android user you can check it out on Google Play that's in there as well or you can check it out on underdog empowerment.com that's linked up in the description as well. Uh, until next time, I will see you on the next video, and I can't wait to see you win as an underdog entrepreneur. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. Uh, it's that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.